Welcome in, guys. We got Free Rin episode 16 here in front of us today. Um, it's been a while since we've done episode 15, but I realized that I've kind of fallen into the pattern of doing one episode a week. Not exactly intuitive, considering the fact that the whole anime is out and we could binge it in a single day. But as of right now, there are a lot of animes this season that are coming out on a day-to-day -day basis. So it's kind of hard to squeeze Free Rin into there. I think next season of the anime will be a lot easier. You know, if we ever go back and binge a series, I think we could totally do that a lot more not cohesively but yeah i guess cohesively like all together you know grouped up simply because i think next season will be kind of a dud when it comes to animes i haven't checked the lineup yet but i don't think i've heard anything that great coming out of the grapevines but if you guys have any big animes i should watch next season let me know down below and other than that let's just hop into free run man it's been a minute since i've gone fishing might have hit up the lake again. That's not sign, is it? Oh, that is sign. He looks so much younger. Oh, it is young sign. Okay, that, that makes a lot more sense. That mage. Wait, what mage? Also, his buddy here, the 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 the, the dead Nakama, he kind of looks like he belongs in Haiku, right? The volleyball anime. Like this guy, I don't know what it is. This guy looks like he can jump, dude. <laughs> Yo, put this dude on the NBA field, man. I promise you, he's going to be a heavy hitter. In a way, Sign is kind of like Free Rin, just living full of regrets, right? He regrets not going with his friend oh so long ago. And now his journey is just looking for him. Oh, shoot, is he dead? Oh, sorry. I, I saw the fire and my, my mind, my monkey brain goes to house on fire. I, I, I just don't feel like he's going to find him, dude. Like, I, I genuinely believe he's not going to find his friend on this journey. What I think is going to happen is that Sign will be with us for the next 10 years until we hit heaven. And he's going to see his friend in heaven. I mean, that that is how this whole story is going, right? We're going to see Himmel in heaven, Aisin in heaven, because I think Aisin's going to die too, right? He, he's old. He doesn't have too many years left. Stark. Yeah, Aizen's gonna die. Stark's gonna reunite with him over there in heaven. Uh, we're gonna see Hyter. We're gonna see this dude's old friend. Like, we're literally gonna see every key character in heaven. <laughs> Come on. Which I think is a cool thing, too. I, I, I like the idea of there being a place where you can visit dead souls. I, I love that idea so much. And I also love that it's a dangerous journey, too. It's not just, like, across the pond. Wait, how long do dwarves live? 300 years. Oh, wait. Maybe Aisen won't die. Never mind. <laughs> Dwarves live 300 years? I guess I don't know how old Aisen is, but damn, 300 is crazy. That explains why he didn't really age too much, huh? Maybe I'll stay here for a decade. Okay, stop joking. Yeah, one week at the most. <laughs> for everyone, stop effing around. Stay here for, for a decade? Are you kidding me? What, they're only one year into their journey? Yeah, no way. No way. Oh yeah, this guy's old, old. Yeah, Aisen's fine, never mind. This guy's like whiting and everything. Aisen's not there yet. Doesn't he seem like a cool old seasoned warrior? He's more like a senile warrior, but he's cool. Dude looks like a Dark Souls NPC. <laughs> huh? Oh, he's pretending to be senile, okay. Oh, oh no, Stark, you're going to embarrass Aisen. Yeah, I can't underestimate the elderly. He can't stand? Wait. What, just hit him in the foot? Like, paralyzed him. Your strategies are underhanded as ever. You have to be underhanded to win, to live, you know? I can't walk. <laughs> oh, start! Yeah, train with the dwarf, man. Yeah, if you see a dwarf, let's start hang out with them. I feel like I'd get so sick of free run if I was traveling. I was like, dude, can, can we not stay here for more than a year? <laughs> can, we, can we only be here for like a day, please? I know it's a cool village, but goddamn, 10 years? You kidding me? <laughs> Everyone's here chilling, farming, vacationing, and then Stark's training. Love it. The life of a warrior. 
タルクはどう人間は成長が早いなそこそこ良くなったそう楽しい時間だったよトルギー今ではとても感謝しているんだ私がヒンメルたちを知る機会があるからトルギーはなんでこの村を守っているんだどうでもいいだろうそんなこと人はどうでもいいことに命を懸けないわしは I'm defending the village my wife loved. Oh. Yeah, here comes the sad backstory. Here comes the waterworks, man. Dude, it must suck to date someone that's not your race in this anime. Or I guess any fantasy, right? Just you live longer than they do. Like if you're an immortal vampire, what's the point, dude? I don't know. That's rough. Oh no, has it been that long? He doesn't remember her? That's his only memory. Oh. Oh, you can tell Himmel's scared. Yeah. Himmel's scared that Freeman's gonna be the same way. Oh no. I hope Freeman never forgets him. Himmel's a great hero. Don't insult me. So, huh. They didn't really explain Rerun and Vol's connection, though. God, that's painful. That's why he protects his village, dude. I, I don't blame him, man. It's the last thing he has of her. You're quite the jokester. But also, I mean, the, the reason I said we don't really know Vol and Freerun's relationship is because Freerun was like, hey, you're like, you're the reason why I travel with Himmel, right? Like, maybe she meant, like, the reason why she wanted to remember Himmel. I feel like that could be fair, but it almost sounded like there was a deeper connection in the beginning, but maybe not. Maybe I'm just reading into that weirdly. Oh, maybe Vol wants to come. Well, no. Nah. Then he wouldn't defend the village. What? Huh? Does he have Alzheimer's? Or maybe he doesn't want to know that the Demon King's dead so he could stay here and protect it. I mean, either way, it's fine, but interesting. Yeah, we're going to see this guy in heaven, too. <laughs> By the time we hit heaven, we're going to see this guy over there, too. Yeah, see you later, Vol. Oh no, did he remember her? I wonder if he saw her face, her voice, or her eyes. That would be sweet. Oh, so the mage you're talking about was really just a random mage. Okay. Damn, if only Freerin or, you know, Vol had the photograph magic spell. That would have been so useful. The Gorilla Warrior. <laughs> yeah, that's quite the name. Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. How does that even happen? That's quite the name. Huh? The goatee priest? I guess he does have a goatee, huh? I never even noticed Sign had a goatee. 
Can we stop by a village? No! Not another village! That's a wild question. Wait! He knows the Gorilla Warrior? Oh my god. He left a strong impression. That's just funny considering that's exactly what he said earlier. Damn, that was 10 years ago. I'm the stubborn old woman. <laughs> oh my god, she's giving a side quest. <laughs> he wanted a 100% run. I wish we get to see Himmel fight. I want to see how he fought, dude. They don't call her stubborn for nothing. <laughs> But her party only has socially awkward members. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true, huh? Yeah, Farron, Stark, Freerun, Sign, yeah. Wow, they are all socially awkward. Yeah. Watch it be a statue of Himmel. It, it's probably Himmel. Who is that? Oh! It's, it's the elf from earlier. Yeah, Kraft. I forgot his name. Kraft. That guy. Okay, so he saved the world many years ago? Who's the other guy? Is the other guy his friend? Hmm? Did they look up to that statue? Oh, they did. Yeah, I guess they do look like Mr. Gorilla and Goatee. Oh, the name has a backstory. Yeah, I mean, coining the, the word gorilla is pretty smart. Because, I mean, you know, even... Wow, that guy had a goatee, too. Oh, that's why he also grew up the goatee. That's crazy. Uh, but yeah, like, gorillas are always going to be around, right? Even if they forget who you are, they're still going to be saying the name gorilla or word gorilla. So it's actually not bad. God, imagine Mr. Gorilla just died a really lame death. That would suck. And how do you become a hero nowadays, too? Like, that's so hard. Like, there's no Demon King, right? Like, there's gotta be some great threat to the world. To become a hero unless i mean you unless you want to be just like a, a hero to a village that's different but oh is he leaving us oh he's leaving us oh would you leave the group i mean there's no guarantees over there anymore right that was 10 years ago like like there's a chance 
he could have went there 10 years ago and then just went back this direction, right? And then there's no guarantee. I guess there is a guarantee because his name is memorable. I was going to say, like, there's no guarantee that anybody will even know where he went or if he even showed up there or if, like, something detracted him from that path. If only there was, like, a teleportation scroll you could have in this world where you could just, you know, open it up and teleport town to town or teleport back to the party. Now, that'd be too broken, though. Like, there's no way Mr. Gorilla would still be at the merchant town after all these years. I, I think the smart move would would be to just travel with Freerin and just hope to find Gorilla along the way somewhere. I think that would be the smartest thing to do. I, I'm not too sure. But hey, thank you guys for joining me on this Freerin adventure. It, it gave me a lot to think about. You know, I'm over here like scratching my chin. I'm like, damn, what do I do now? You know, if I was Sign, what the hell? Oh, uh, but hey, catch you guys later, Sai. Signing out.